San Diego and San Jose Fire. Here's an adjustable gallonage, 200 PSI at 100 PSI nozzle. It has the settings 30, 95, 125, 150, and 200. I have it set at the 200 setting, right? And if you put 50 PSI here at the inlet, you should get around 150 gallons a minute out the front of this, and you should only get about 60 pounds nozzle reaction. Now, you obviously gonna have a problem with your hose like this, because you don't have good low pressure hose. So, the way we're gonna fix that is, here's your existing nozzle setup, right? You have a shut off and this type of nozzle. It's set, again, at 200 to 100. I'm gonna put this in the, in the back of it, it's the turbo back pressure device. It's designed to allow 160 gallons a minute through it with 25 pounds of friction loss. So now when I screw this together, what we see is a package now. When this is set at 200 to 100, we're gonna shoot for 150 to 160 gallons a minute with only 60 pounds nozzle reaction, but we're gonna have 75 pounds of input pressure. 25 here, and 50 PSI here. Now I've done this many times before for agencies with this type of nozzle, where we've switched to the 200 at 100 setting, but we treat it like a 50 PSI nozzle. Now we're going to go ahead and flow this and see if we get what we're supposed to get. All right, you can stop. All right, so what we got here is the 200 at 100 nozzle. It's on the 200 setting, 100 PSI. We have a regular shut off. This one happens to be made by us, Hen, and we have the back pressure device. We're gonna read pressure here. So I'm hoping it's 75 pound inlet pressure. When we look up here at the flow meter, we're gonna see around 160 gallons a minute. All right, here we are. 200 at 100, the shut off, the back pressure device, 74 pounds. 74 pounds, 167. So it's gonna be around 63 pounds nozzle reaction, right? There you go, that makes the NFPA 1710 compliant.